Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Vanessa DeBerlay and I have been doing putting together a playlist about all the different jobs you can find to make money online. And this one is called Real Online Jobs for Stay-at-Home Moms, but you don't have to be a stay-at-home mom to want to work from home. Go down to the playlist and every single one of those videos has a minimum of three different ways you can make money online from home, take your work with you, get your life back, right? Um, I do have a heart for the homeschool moms and the stay-at-home moms because I can remember being in that position and always looking for different ways to make money. I have went out and sold vacuum cleaners and knives and pottery and baskets and you name it. I've tried, I, I was out there always hustling, always trying to, you know, make that extra money. And I honestly wish this was there back when I was young, raising my children because I would have been right on top of it. But you know what? It's never too late. Um, we all have different reasons for why we want to work from home work online. My biggest reason now is the flexibility. I like to be productive and I cannot stand walking into a job for somebody else and sitting there and waiting for work, you know? So for me, it's, I love to be productive. I love to work. I love to earn money and I can earn as much as I want. I don't have to have that cap saying, okay, this is your salary and that's it. Or you get a 2% raise each year, which is nothing. So Whatever your reason is, make sure you find something that you can be passionate about and excited about, and then it becomes fun. It's not work and you're making money and you get to do it on your own time. So hit the playlist below. Now, right below the playlist, it's very, very important that you hit that link as well. If you're really serious and you've picked that one job that you wanna do, obviously you're gonna have to research it deeper than this. I'm just giving you a variety of different jobs. Then you need to learn how to market yourself online. You are not just gonna make a little website site um, and sit there and wait for people to come. It doesn't work that way. Nobody will come. It's like opening up a store and or a restaurant and you put the sign out and sit there and wait. It doesn't work that way anymore. You have to promote yourself and you have to have that storefront and that training is the best training in the world for you to get started to do that. So make sure if you're serious that you also pop in and do that training as well. All right, so what are we gonna talk about today? I'm really excited about this one. My number one today is travel agent. Now you can become, let me pull this up. You can actually become, you could work for a travel agency and they can let you work from home. You can do that, but then you're still tied into, you have to work when they say, um, and you can do it from home. And if that makes you feel more comfortable, then obviously that would be for you. But you can also become a travel, um, look into travel agent pro affiliate programs. And what that means is like, here's Expedia. Expedia, they own the company, but you will come in as an affiliate. So when you promote different travel packages, different things, and it's sold through your website or through your storefront, like I was talking to, like your funnel, then you get a commission. So the way affiliate marketing works in general, when you think of it, is you promote other people's products. So let's say you have a health and fitness interest and you want to promote shakes or exercise equipment, different workout programs, things like that. Now, remember, none of these products are yours. These are just different products that you found from different places. And we've, I've talked about that before, like ClickBank and things like that. I'm not going to bring that up because that's not what we're doing today. But you would go in and find products that other people have created and you sell it for them on your site, your platform, which you will learn how to make by going through that 30 day training. And then you get a commission. Commissions are anywhere from 7% to 50%. And you find the products you want to promote. Well, travel agency affiliates works the same way. You are promoting a travel package for a different company and they will give you a commission to do that. So I think that's awesome. If you love to travel anyway, and you have certain parts of the country that you have a heart for, and you maybe you've been there, you could actually create a blog or a, web, a website with a blog or a funnel and promote the pictures that when you went there to visit and things like that, and then keep promoting that Caribbean vacation or whatever it is. And you get a commission for promoting something that is really fun. There, I know people that have become Disneyland affiliates, that they have sites that they promote Disneyland and all the best ways to visit and, you know, just all the tips and tricks on how to make that trip. And then they get a commission for selling 
Disney packages. So it's a, it's a travel agent affiliate program and you can make money doing that. And like I said, you're raising your family, you like to take vacations, the money that you make from the affiliate program could be the money that you use to take your family on that vacation. So this money can be used any way you want. Now, an, a travel agent typically makes a medium income of about $36,000. So that's not, not too bad. And again, any of these jobs, you can take them to another level, but that is the basics. All right, so now let's talk about a freelance writer. How many of you out there love to write? Give, raise your hand. All right. Um, you might like to write just novels or you might like to write articles. Maybe you'd love to do research. You loved school because you love to do research and you loved writing those articles. And you're like, why isn't there a job for this? Well, there is. If you go to upwork.com or freelancer.com. Now I bring these up a lot. Um, in these videos, but I found a new one, so stick around. Um, here's an example, Upwork. If I just said, um, oh, I put data entry on that one. Well, we'll talk about these two together because the next one today is also data entry. Both jobs can be found in the same places, but here <clears throat> I put data entry in the search and you can see how people are promoting themselves as data entry. Now, data entry is typically a virtual assistant job they're all uh, interrelated, but maybe that's the only thing you want to do is data entry. So you would go to Upwork, post yourself as a person that wants to be hired and post yourself as data entry. And that's okay if that's all you know how to do. And then you can say, see, this person just got started $18 an hour. She's doing data entry and she's already earned a thousand dollars. So she's new, but she also says I can do customer support and customer service. And there's six more. So she probably, since she has 10 different positions that she's saying she could do online, she probably has 10 different posts, one for data entry, one for virtual assistant, one for customer support. And then when people go in, and go look for that in the search tab her name comes up and see right now $18 an hour that's pretty good money to sit at home and work when you want and it's a great way to get in you might find as you start doing data entry like wow I can do this too I can I can do other jobs so you're promoting yourself now freelance writer um, you might go in and write blogs for other people Let's, let's write right here. Um, let's write, um, we were just talking about articles. Maybe you like the medical field, okay? And medical articles. There might be a person out there with a blog where they talk about medical things and they just want more information. Online content. This person does marketing for lawyers and doctors. So very, um, probably has a higher level of skills or maybe that's where they do most of their research, uh, $24 an hour. And they write articles, social media marketing, content writing, uh, medical writing, legal writing. So again, a lot of doctors or medical people, lawyers, they may have a blog where they're trying to get people to hire them, but they, when you want somebody to hire you, you need to, um, have content out there to show that you know what you're talking about, that you're um, educated in that field. So that's why a lot of people write, have websites and they have blogs because they're trying to show you as the buyer that I am educated in that area and I have lots of free stuff I'm going to give you. So when that person needs legal services or they need medical services, we're going to go, you know, so-and-so has really had a lot of information. I'm going to go ahead and hire them. So, you in the background can be writing those articles for that person that has the blog. So you're kind of like a ghost writer, if that makes sense. I have seen people put their own name on the blogs when they come in. And I've also seen people give the credit to the person who wrote it. So it really depends on who's hiring you, but I've seen it done both ways. Now there's another place that you can go. I'm always talking about Upwork. Upwork is like the number one place to go. Freelancer, it's hard for me to give you an example because when I start filling it out, um, they really want me to go in and say, this is the job that I'm looking for. And then I've got to fill out like three pages. So it's a little bit hard, but you can go in there. If you want to post yourself as a person freelancing, you can do that. Now this one is called Media Bistro. So it's another one where you can post your job 
same concept as the others. It's just a different platform and you need to go in and do your research and decide where am I going to post myself. You could put yourself on all the different platforms. You don't have to stick to one and really get out there and promote yourself. Now, again, as a freelancer, you could do blogs. You could become a ghostwriter. You could write novels for people. If you love, if you've always wanted to write a novel, you could write that novel for somebody else, but then they get to put their name on it and articles, um, copyright people who are in sales. Maybe you've got some, um, marketing skills in, in, in there and you've never gotten to use them. You went to college for marketing and you're really good at copyright, but you just have never taken the time. You're maybe homeschooling the kids, raising the kids, stay at home mom. You've got a lot on your plate, but maybe you could just write some copyright as a freelancer for somebody else just to start getting your feet wet. And as the kids start growing up and you start getting more time, then you could start your own marketing business. So these are just different ways you can make money while you're at home. Um, and in the data entry, there's another one I found too, another site called Simply Hired. So again, you can post your jobs for free from here. So, um, Let's go ahead and put, oh, let's put freelance writer on this one. And we're gonna search. Now you can search for jobs in your area or you can um, go remote. So you don't have to put the, I don't believe you have to put the city state. So these are different people who are hiring themselves out and they're putting their, this person's 30 to hundred dollars an hour. So they've established themselves. They're guaranteeing the job will be in within 10 days. So you really need to, like I said, start out small, uh, see what skills you have. Don't charge a lot in the beginning until you start getting a portfolio and then you can start finding your niche and start charging more. So those are some sites. Again, this one is called simply hired.com and you want to check out upwork.com freelancer.com and media bistro.com click the link below for the playlist there's if, if none of these if you're like i don't want to do any of that then hit go into that playlist and start looking at the other videos and again they have different titles for stay-at-home moms homeschool moms things like that but all of them anybody can do them you don't have to be a mom uh, to work from home and also if you're serious take that 30-day training so that you can start making that home page for yourself the funnel so that you can start learning how to attract people and get out there and market yourself you are in marketing no matter what one of these jobs that you do you've got to market yourself you've got to get out there on the internet so people know who you are and what you have to offer